crookstoon kind of era. So our, we have a brand new teletype that showed up. And it comes with a huge power supply. No, which schematic here. Oh, we, we're wondering what the supply does. It has a whole bunch of plugs. This one, this one, this weird one. And oh, they're good fuses. So one interesting thing is you can adjust it from 25 to 60 hertz by moving this wire. You can adjust it from 95 to 250 volts by moving this wire. Oh wow! So it's a it's a universal power supply. Very and so, what's the output of this thing? Take a look at the interesting tube at the back there. That looks like some weird light bulb. It does. This is the input, and it it has an auto transformer. So that's this huge transformer on this side. So you can adjust the input voltage and frequency. And it has a rectifier and here we think this is for a regulator uh, for 200 volts and that would be, it conveniently shows what plug that is and that is this one. So middle is ground and then it has 200 volts floating I guess. And this one is a mystery plug called motor, but I think it's a pass-through or an auto-transform one. We couldn't find a matching plug in, 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 in the teletype. This goes to a 115 volt motor that's relay controlled, so yeah. when this powers up it closes the relay and turns on the motor. Right. And the green key is missing a few, only two. That's, that's already vacuum. It was in way worse shape when I just got it. But all right, so keep company to my other one. Uh, so that's the idea to have one at either end. So this device here is my very own uh, Model Fifteen. Let's see if I can remove the very very heavy. Top part. And uh, some of you may not know what a teletype is, but basically it's a remote control and, uh, typewriter, and which is controlled remotely uh, using uh, a refined version of the Morse code, uh, which is called the Bodo code, the first uh, you know, machine readable uh, Morse code on five bits. Basically, this, this, this one consists of a transmitter and a printer and the two are not connected at all mechanically so if you want to actually see what you're typing you must connect the two in series by an electrical uh, line some machine could work also on paper tape not this one actually uh, but the model 19 has a uh, both a, a tape puncher uh, which would be punched from the keyboard and a transmitter that could uh, separately uh, send the uh, uh, tape. And basically this is what the model 19 is. It's a model 15 plus the ability to record and transmit tape. The lowercase omega for the home symbol. I like it, I like it. And it has the space for the tape reader. That's the tape punch with a tachometer on it, 0 to 80. And we actually have the tape reader, it's in the box here. That's how that would be working. There you go. Then, then you, then you have it. It would connect automatically, automatically. And tape would go in here. Where will you feed it from? Underneath. Yes, through here. Oh no, because the tape is over here on the side of the machine. Once you have the cover, yep. there's the there's the side for the tape. Mm -hmm. So let's come out. Come under here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This one is. Uh, 
done. Yep, go for it. And yes, and then that would detect if the tape broke. Mm -hmm. right, so the tape must come from over there. Yeah, the, I, I need the disc, this contact is being bent. There we go. That's one character. Your baud rate is pretty slow here. Oh, here we go, we're transmitting. So every time the relay okay. snaps it. Reads one character. Yeah. Luckily, on the, this, this, end, this is sorry. not positioned correctly. I think when, let's position this correctly. I think the, this goes straight from one to the other. So the tape goes there, comes from here. They, it has a 90 degree angle thingy here to fold it. Then it goes through here. And this is the check. And then the it goes. The it goes through there. And I guess yeah. So you can't bypass it, right? But they're, they're clearly somewhat aligned. Hmm. Not quite. It needs serious repainting. You can see the original nice black paint and the the horrible, probably leaded gray paint. Maybe asbestos mixed into the lead just. Oh yeah, just just for good measure. And we have the top part of it. Well, let's One. plug in the power supply and see what happens. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Hard to see from. Oh, you're you're good. 